Well, good morning and welcome to the Sudoku channel. This is Oliver coming to you from Yall by the Sea in Ireland over here in Europe. And uh, just back from a very nice short trip to Gibraltar. Really was a beautiful place. Lots of history there. I didn't think there'd be much to see, but there's a huge amount to see down there. Well worth visiting. Anyway, back to this little puzzle. As um, you probably noticed, it's not too difficult to uh, finish off. Um, what we have here is, if I get over the way, there's a triple here, which means there has to be a double at the end. So there's a double there. Ah, this triple will get rid. Of, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> if you haven't done triples, have a look at triples. If you haven't looked at doubles, have a look at doubles. There's uh, tutorials down below in the comments for them. Anyway, we can get rid of this four here. That is that clear. Now, uh, oh God, uh, how do I do this? Um, this is Glenn Scott and Ross. They both have the same solution, which I don't understand. I'm going to have to try and work out somehow. Uh, what's the theory behind this? It's basically saying if if everything is solved and all you have left are pairs, I think, in cells, and there's one then that has a triple in it, that this here is going to be your solution. Now, Ross says that the solution is that you get rid of the two and the six there. Uh, I don't know how that is, shall we say, proven. And <laughs> I, I'm an awful doubting Thomas. I don't like things that I can't prove. So I always do things different, differently. And I noticed a chain when I was looking at this two six and trying to work out why is he getting rid of a two six there and leaving with le ending up with a one there. And I'm afraid, that just got me thinking. And I thought, well, if we were to go and look at, let's see, there's two ones there, and we have two twos. Two ones are important. If we were to go on a chain. Starting here. No, we can't start there. <laughs> Try starting here. If that's off, that's on. If that's on, that's off. If that's off, that's on. Now, what I mean by that is, if that is not a one, then this is a one. If that is a one, then that's not a one. If that's not a one, then, then this is a one. And therefore, we don't have a one here. And if you go the other way around, if that's not a one, this is a one. That's not a one. This is a one and we get rid of that one there as well. That's just a simple chain, simple singles chain. And for me, that just solves it. This other one, what they call the BUG, the bug, I, I'll i have to look into that, and maybe do, do a tutorial on it so that I can learn it myself. I don't understand it, okay? <laughs> I'll just stick with me chain for the time being. Stick in the four there, get rid of that, and that'll give us a one there. And there's a four gone up here. That's a foregone conclusion. This one will get rid of that one. It's all going to fall apart now, I can guarantee you. Um, the one there will get rid of that. And I think that's part of this thing. If all you have is pairs, if you can get rid of one of them, then you're finished. And it's, how do you find out? We, oh, that's what it means. Ah, OK. So if all you have are pairs, right, that's all you have, then all you need to do is settle one of them and it'll sort itself out and the only one you can settle in the way we were was this one two six all you can get rid of is get rid of that two six so that you can have a one <sighs> uh, but why didn't you just get rid of the one two and leave you with a six sorry still don't understand that <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry if i'm confusing you seven gets rid of that one there gets rid of that one there that'll be me two Seven gets rid of nothing down there, and this two will get rid of this two anyway. That two will get rid of that one. Seven gets rid of oh, we'll take the four, gets rid of that one, and that four gets rid of nothing else. The two there gets rid of nothing anywhere else. It does, it gets rid of that one there, and that gives us the four getting rid of that one. And the one there will get rid of that one, giving us the two. That two, we have a one six one six, which would have got rid of that one anyway. So I'm just talking to myself. We have a four over here, gets rid of that four, giving us the six, gets rid of that one, giving us the eight, getting rid of that one, and that one, giving us the four, and that one, giving us an eight up here. 
and we get rid of that one over there giving us a six and that's yeah that six will give us a one okay as i said it was not a difficult one to solve in the end we just needed a single single singles chain to solve it or else we used what uh, ross and um glenn used which was the bug I don't understand the bug i will look it up and if i can understand it i'll do a tutorial on it and include it in the list of tutorials down below anyway look it was nice doing it it didn't take too long um is it my imagination are these diabolicals um less difficult or are we just learning more about them and finding them easier to do i'm not sure which way it is anyway i will be back to you before friday with the next one in our diabolical range okay till then thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and comments and all the rest of those nice things thank you very much till the next time slán tamla